Good morning, folks. Let's review. We're still a week from what could be a significant solar uptick due to planetary geometry, but with so many spots on the disk, you've got to expect at least one M flare. It's been a few days since we said that, but we did finally take one. Came from the big sunspot group on the south. It was only an M1, likely just an appetizer of what may come in a few days. No CME was produced. The sunspots on the south have their act together a little bit better than on the north. We've got a beta gamma class here. And even without major mixing behind it in the big group, we took the flare and are starting to see a central vorticity in the big leading umbra. No major filaments on the disk. We turn our attention towards the southern coronal hole. That incoming bulges of tremendous force and should trigger our next moderate earthquake watch in a few days. We took our first gamma ray burst in more than a week yesterday out of the Boots constellation. Solar wind speed ticked up a little bit higher and we've still got north pointing magnetism so the shield is just fine but the protons are surging upward a bit faster now. And as you might expect, the cosmic rays able to reach Earth are a bit diminished as well. Still no big quakes but this is unusual for Poland. And then you want to talk unusual? That's up there for Arizona. And 4.7 may even be a bit of a downgrade when you see the full list of readings. Belgian nuclear reactor shut down due to a fire. This strains the already difficult power situation in that country. We've got a video of a sinkhole that opened up in China, ended up swallowing a car and almost the driver as well, made a narrow escape. And speaking of China, the Western world isn't the only place seeing an unbelievable cold snap major major cold weather in china but of course we are taking the worst of that in the u.s and canada as temperature deltas go that screams powerful drive off low pressure the actual low is well north of the frame here but the convergence running down the appalachians collides air masses of vastly different moisture potential and definitely temperature the swing back to heat out west is evident as well we've got rain we've got snow We've got warnings coast to coast, so don't sleep on these this evening. Got a major convergence in the North Atlantic just sweeping to the northwest coastlines now. Also note the Mediterranean systems. Satellite reveals that those are our watch areas tonight. I'd like some weather shares from Ireland and Scotland if possible. I put the pressure overlay on in Australia to show the moisture basins while we still see that flow to New Zealand as well. Got the infrared detection to complement our weather watches from Weather Online. Got some shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.